talk to me if you can hear me i'm using my lapo mic good evening everyone good evening um it's good to be here my name is Mayo Wanobanjo. okay i'm a business savvy and digital business expert and i also help entrepreneur and the new bill and those who are already making six figures to accelerate and skate through with their business so i'm glad to be here tonight so i'm going to be concluding the second uh the second leg the okay i'm waiting for us to talk i don't know whether you can hear me can you hear me or do i need to set my mic I want to know if you can hear me. Okay. Okay, I That is good. I can hear my voice right now. Okay, I can hear my voice. So who is online? Can you hear me? Leave your comment. Can you hear me? Okay, my name. Good evening. Okay, it's good to be here. Thank you for joining. Thank you. I'm going to I'm going direct to the web browser right now uh, so that we can just comment the class. I'm set. Uh, I want you to know that. Uh, uh, what I want to quickly do is this. I want us to look at the the B life first, then we'll go to into to the stream yard. Okay, so that is what I want to do right now. So we are going to the B life first, then we we'll go to the stream yard, you know. We had an issue with the class the other day with the when we are setting the B life. So we are going right now to the So we are going to the class right now so that we commence everything. Okay, so we are going right now. Let's go. Thank you. Okay, I'm bringing up my. Now, good evening, everyone. Once again, I'm Maya Wanobanjo. So we are starting from B Live, like I said, tonight. So that after the B Live, we'll just go to the stream yard. You know, I've, I've already. Okay. Okay. So sorry for that. I have to. I'm just trying to check what is going on. Um, I don't know whether I can share the link. Let me see whether I can share the link. Can I be able to share? I can only copy the link. Okay. So right now we want to do something online right now. So that let's quickly check. Uh, you know, like if you want to. Hello. Okay, I can see. Okay, so if you want to if you want to start the B Live, you need either a a YouTube account or a Facebook account. Okay, so you need either of the two. So any Gmail account will work for you because that is a YouTube YouTube account, and then any account that is associated with your YouTube or uh, with your uh, Facebook. So. If you want to start live, if you want to go live, if you want to log in, this is where you come and click. You can see that play that is writing starts broadcast. Okay, so that is where you need to click. So I'm going to click that place right now, so that we will see. Uh, so that we'll lo I will log in. I want to log in. So I'm. Okay, I've it's, it's it's loading. Though after uh, they have taken a class on this already two days ago. Okay, so you can still go back there and check the class if because we might not be detailed with this class. So you can go back and check that class. Okay, so this is it right now. 
this is right now so i want to set the 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 bill life okay so if if you are after you are true and you are set to go live okay so this this is where you come and click this side that is where you click when you are true and you want, you want to go live and if you want to set up your camera your video this is where you click also you can also set it around here too somewhere around here if you click this if i want to set it if I, okay you can set it here if so if you want to share uh, share your screen this is where you share you click you get your share your screen you'll be able to share your screen and this place if you click this place you will be able to you will get a link if you want to get a link that you want to share with your guest maybe you have a guest that is coming up on your show and you want to invite that guest okay this is where you get the link to do that okay sorry i don't know what is wrong with the with the connection so please let me minimize i don't okay let me minimize i'm coming please okay then so i think my my antivirus is is okay so let's proceed it's my antivirus i want to see how i can remove it but it seems it's frozen so if you want to load maybe you want to upload your image this is where you get you you click and you'll be able to load it and if you want to share your screen this is where you click if you want to add guests this is where you click you get the link so that you'll be able to add your guest and this place is where you set up your camera okay if you want to go live that is where you set up your camera when you are going live okay so that's that one then like i said i did the other day that here you can set up your hello here you can set up your your text on the screen and the the scrolling one that is where you can you will be able to set it and here you will be able to set up your agenda maybe you have an agenda that you want to go maybe you have a, a powerpoint that you want to go through you want to go through then here you'll be able to set up your if you click here you'll be able to set up your background your theme your overlay and your custom image and your your logo so let's quickly see how all these things work so that we we proceed to the next class let me clean up the board i'm clean up the board so it seems this my antivirus is mess is is crazy. I don't know what is wrong with the antivirus tonight. Just please bear with me. Okay, let me close the program. Okay. Can you hear my voice, please? If you can hear my voice, just let me know. Hello. Are you with us? Are you with us? If you are with us, say something. Let 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 us know. Who's online? So let's see how we can set these things. Okay, here is where you set up your camera. But I don't want to set my camera right now, so I'm going to close it. I don't want to set up my camera. Okay. So if you want to get your guest link, this is where you click okay you click this place then if you click this place this you can you can see copy if you copy this link and share it with anyone that person if that person click that link it will come to this your home page this your back end okay then if you want to share screen you want to share your screen like what i'm doing right now you want to share your screen that is where you click it's asking is the entire uh, application or application window maybe parts of what is going on on the screen is what you want to share or google chrome because google chrome is on the on this already on so let's assume i'll click this one when you shoot we are choosing remember to come and click this place okay remember to come and click this place click it then share now this is you can hide it if you want to stop sharing you click you can stop it here and you can also hide it okay 
now if I want my screen to show on top of the what I'm doing right now this is what I need to do just click show in the in the stream not going okay so you want to share screen let's let's let me rehard it again share screen what's going on maybe I need do I need to refresh let me refresh this browser please let me quickly refresh it that is good part of this things you can refresh it it's refreshable okay Okay, it's back. So now, if you want to add the the, the share screen, anyone, whether you want to add, a, you want to share the entire screen, your application window, maybe the Epic Pen, you can see my Epic Pen, be live, stream your OBS, go, or you want to share your Google Chrome, or your entire. Let me say, let me let me click the entire, then when you are doing it please yes all this box you can you need to click it okay so you need to click it before you'll be able to share it that's when you need to select it then you click on share on share okay you can see now it's working right now okay so and then push it up just click the show in the stream okay if I want the only, if I only want the entire, entire class to be for the screen share, what I need is for me to minimize this my ebook. Okay, I'll just hide this. Okay, this entire screen now, right now, what people is, are going to be seeing is of my screen. If I go live, that's what they are going to be seeing. Okay, so let's assume you want to add your text on the screen. What you want people to see okay this is where you click this place you'll be able to add the title of your class then you'll be able to add the text group this one that is moving right now this text group this text group you can see right now and this is the this is the title of the class okay so that is where you be, you add that in those option okay then if you come to this side the next one it's talking about maybe you want to add your agenda if you have agenda okay that is agenda if you want to include your agenda then just click here you'll be able to add your agenda but we don't i don't need agenda then here is the major thing that is where you set up your team the kind of team that you need okay if your, your, your logo if you want to set up your logo this is where you click and you should be able to set up your logo okay i've up already uploaded these ones and i can actually use them okay so if i want to change my team this is where i will just click currently be live only have two teams right now they only have two teams okay what i'm going to do okay okay this it seems this my account expire so let me let me relog with another gmail account so that you see i'll be able to log in and do normal thing okay this one is telling me that the the account has expired so let me see how i can log in with another gmail account
okay uh, I said I want to change the I want to change the the be live so that I can be able to change my logo and other things okay maybe I need to log out If this one didn't work, then I will try and log out from this particular one I'm using right now, then start again. I'll log out, then I'll start again. If this one didn't work, I want to log in from refresh. Okay. without wasting our time let's ju let's just continue if that won't work then let me see what can, will happen here if, the, if I want to edit will I be able to go into Facebook to mm -mm, no so so I believe you know how we can set all this thing right now now look at this side all everything that is going to be appearing here are your are your source you are mean your source okay and this software can only have four sources here so let's assume you want to have three guests you want to have your book maybe you want to have your my uh, over being uh, somewhere around the the you want to manage your over maybe somewhere around here and you want to have your guests maybe three guests on the show with this platform you might need to you might need to move to another platform if you want to do it that way though you will be able to do to some part but it will cost you a lot that's why i always tell people try obs try to learn how to use obs i use more of obs because the only thing that the obs is consuming from me is my data so I don't pay for any monthly subscription and I have I have uh right I mean power for my to to edit my logo at any time to customize whatever I like to put the way I want my text row to go. Like this one, the text row. You do you can't decide how the text row should move. If you are use, if you are using this one, as you can see you can't decide how the text row should move so that is one thing about there so but with the but with the obs you can decide you can even put time that and that so this is let's go to the stream yards so stream yard is also easy to use it's, it's a web browser based too and you will see their uh their charges right now so if it is something that you can afford, then you can go for it. But one thing about StreamYard is that it will ask for an email. So when you log, when you drop the email, they will send a code to that your email. So let me quickly copy this my email so that they will, I will put this one. So what I want to advise is this: if you know how to set StreamYard, you know how to stress to set OBS, uh, Be Live also. So with the OBS if there's a way you can use your OBS with your with restream uh, app software that is if you want to multi-stream but you are going to pay to uh, to the what do you call it the app that you are going to use the restream app that you are going to you are going to pay them for so that they can stream for you but if you be able, what what is what is amazing about, about this thing is that all the control that you are going to be doing is from your OBS. The only thing that the, the stream will do for you is just for you to is just for them to take the stream from the OBS and restream to the multiple platform that you want the, the them to restream to. 
okay so just don't worry whether you can you'll be able to use your obs to do one or two things or not or not so okay let me let me copy this i want to see how i can copy this my email please pardon hear me okay dot on a banjo live at gmail this is stream yeah just type stream yard on your web browser most especially but it work most this software work most or work best on uh, on google chrome so try to use google chrome okay so use use google chrome then you can also add their extension on your google chrome too okay so they have sent me the code right now they have sent me the code so put your email log into the stream yard put your email where i put inserted my email put your email there they will send a code to your email in your inbox so so go and check your inbox I'm, I'm i'm reloading my inbox right now so that i can copy the link so that i can copy the code Okay, this is the code. The code has arrived. Okay, this is the code. This is my own code right now. So that is what I need to paste here. Once I paste, I'll be able to log in. That is all. So, okay, on what? Continue. So this this stream yard. What you need to do look at this side broadcast and it's asking for destination. Okay. So what you need destination me where you want your where you want your live video to go is it a facebook page facebook group your profile linkedin page linkedin event linkedin profile youtube channel periscope custom rtm twitch so where do you want your live class to go so that is what they are asking you there so you need to click one of these um your function that they, they are in this uh, destination that's there you need to click one of these destinations that they are offering that you can stream to through there okay so let's assume me you are streaming to page facebook page once you click the page we ask you to connect your facebook page so it's My account is logging, so it's logging. I don't know what is going on. So, so it's my account is loading. destination huh? okay now facebook page connect okay so it's it's, it's this forgot my password Jerry. i will use my i will use my two verification to to do it i'll use my verification to do it i don't have time to be cracking brain for password
please bear with me my i don't know what is wrong with my i don't know what is wrong with my facebook it's asked me to log in so let me you have sent the code to me already so let me quickly i've gotten the code I'm doing this so that I can log in. I can also show you how to use StreamYard. That's what I want to show you. I want. I have a special page that I stream to. I have a special page that I use to start most of this thing that I'm doing right now. That is where I normally stream to. So that's what I want to do right now. That is where I want to stream to also. Okay. Okay. Should be able to distribute. Now you should accept my invitation. Accept my login right now. Facebook. Uh -huh. So. I don't want that. Okay. One destination. Facebook page. Connect. Okay, this we are normally uh, normally stream to, so I'm I'm doing that right now. So the title of my class, let's say, live video testing. Destination uh, description. I don't have time for that one. You can put your own. Create broadcast. Click create broadcast. No, I'm not going to add any of this. Yeah. Um, so display name. You ask me for a display name. Let so if you don't want to use your cam, you can use avatar. That avatar you can edit it. Just click this place. If you click this place, you'll be able to add the, to edit that avatar. Let let me let me put. Let me upload my picture so that you see how you can also upload your own picture. Let me see who's online. Let me okay. After I upload it, I will try and check. After I have, have, let me see my, any of my picture that I can upload. Uh, I don't know whether I have it. So what I'll actually happen is that you can upload a picture. Let me see a picture that I can. Okay, let's assume in this one. You can all you can upload that one. Okay. Let me upload this one. Okay, it's my book. So that is what is going to show right now. You can see. So the display name, which name you want the stream yard to display with during your broadcast. So I'm going to use my one about you. You can see the name that is right is typing. Okay. So enter the studio. It will enter the stream yard studio now. This stream yard studio. So if like I said earlier on, if you know how to use D Live, you'll be able to use StreamYard too. But know that if you want to host, if you want to do live show and you want to use them, you need a laptop. Is they are not something that you can you can use a mobile phone to do. But as a guest, you can use your mobile phone to go live as a guest. Okay. So these are uh, look at the place you are going to be setting your stuff. If you want to mute your 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 mic, you click this side. This is my cam right now, my webcam. I've closed it. That is why it's not showing. Then come and mic setting. If you want to set them, the source that you want them to be. If you want to share your screen, like I did on B Life earlier on. If you want to invite guests, this is where you click or and you get the link. If you want to leave studio, this is where you click. Let me see. 
some of us that are online then i'll just see. let me see let me see let me see who's online oh uh, this 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 is where i get this okay no uh, no problem so let me clean the board okay before i will clean up the board this is where you get the live sh live shots the shot that is going on in the cr in the in the li in the class this is where you get it okay so that is where you get the live shots and when you are true this is where okay if you want to okay if you want to edit where you want to go live for maybe you want to change the page come and click this place or click this edit i hope you can see the way i'm i'm crawling i'm crossing them then when you are true you want to go live this is where you click so comments are here comments this is where you see comments then banner if you want to set up your banner you want to set up your logo this is where you click private chat if you with your guest that is if you click this you see so almost all the settings are here so let me clean up the board so that i would walk us through how to set them okay so now if you have if let's assume you want to add you want, you have a guest you can make the, the if you like close this tip this is the layout this is the layout of your of your stream this is how your layout will look like if you are the only one this is how you are going to look like in this during the stream or you, like this you can share your screen and look like this okay you can look share your screen and you look like this so if you have guests maybe three people this is how you guys are going to look if you have two people on board this is how you guys are going to look if you have two people and you also want to maybe you want to put maybe your you want to share your screen and at the same time you want to do one or two things that is how you are going to look like so let me see let me clean up the board so i'll soon write off the class within five minutes i'll close the class right now so your banner if you want to set up your banner this is example of your banner and look at the way it will show so you can see the banner now that is the meaning of banner if you are true you are tired of this one you can remove it you replace another one this is the banner this meaning of banner so if you, you can create your own you can edit this one this is the editing you can also delete it you can edit it here you can delete it show if you want it to show on the screen remove if you want it to remove if you want to create another one you click here you'll be able to create another one so brand that is your logo if you want to add your logo but here on stream yard uh you can't add your logo unless you pay for it but if you want to upload your logo this is where you click click this place for your logo if you want to upload your logo okay and if you want to upload your overlay picture overlay uh, png or uh, whatever you click that side then background is here if you want to change your background this is your background okay so let me okay i believe you understand that right now show display name blah 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 so your color you can change the color if you don't like that color i think they leave the color for free so i'm using this one so that is the color that i want to use now let me add this one to the screen you can see my color right now you can see the name of my name that my name i've changed okay If you are sharing screen, that is how the layout will look like. If you want to share your screen, this is how your layout will look like. If, so this one now, you can't add. You can't add. Okay, let's see. You can't add more any other higher uh, uh, image. You can see this preface with your guest settings. You want to set your general setting. Let me clean up the board. Let me clean up the board. So that we see the functions that are here shift video for comment banner you want to set up your camera you want to set up your audio you want to set up your green screen your guest okay 
place sign when guests enter guests must be authenticated okay which is very very good in case you are hosting okay so it's very very good so that when they are coming you know they are, they are we have guests that is coming it's not that they will just come and without your permission they will just join your class no you should be able to do this so this is this is how you set up your stream yard so if you have question please drop them i want to close this is how you that is how you set up your stream yard and if you want to appear on my screen right now i can send you the